Hello. <laughs> All right. We're going to go over here on the map. <laughs> The seed info will be in the description. Currently we're on the creative version. We have a realm. We just wanted to show everybody before we got started what we're kind of working with. Um, this is a village that's right next to spawn pretty much. Came over here, grabbed some resources, you know, did our normal stuff that you normally would do. And went down and did a little bit of mining. And then we came in through here. And this is our test creative mode. That way we could get used to the map settings. And where everything was at to make play a little bit easier. Um, yeah, a little bit. Everything over there is not perfect. But over here we're planning on doing a big village farm slash uh, trading area but it's not going to really be a trading hall it's going to be more like a trading village so when that's all done it should look really nice uh, little fishing areas that's ideas for our farms uh, don't mind the kids in the background we have twins um, there's a couple little farm ideas, little concept that we're working with. We are using the fantasy pack. So a lot of the textures are pretty neat and different. Like this is the glowstone. It pulsates. Yeah, it pulsates like a heart. And that right there is netherrack. So a lot of the Things are pretty different, uh, but overall this is the map we're working with in our realm that we've created uh, with Augustus here, and there's also Phoenix and Vampy. Um, we're going to try and record as much as possible as progress goes. But a lot of this is just texture looking at, kind of like this one right here. This is wool, and this is concrete, and just kind of seeing where people wanted to go with what designs and everything else. Um, but yeah, we will be getting ourselves set up and going into the realm here in a moment. And we will show you guys, so far, what we have gotten to in there. Alright, we're here in our little makeshift hut that we made inside that crater area. Um, so far, as you can th see, things are quite different. Um, I've so far leveled out a lot of ground cut out a lot of the trees because we have a nice little step down that we're planning on doing on both sides leading over to the villagers um this area is going to be our main house and so far we're getting our plants going over here we've got just stuff thrown everywhere right now um there i promise we we do we do pretty good at getting things organized once we get going it's the getting going that's the hard part um but this is kind of what we're working with right now now we have also gone over and unlocked a spider spawner that we found we found some sugar cane down there, or well, well, we didn't find it down there, we found it across the map a little ways. Um, but we have a nice little farm going, easy access up and down for right now. 
And yeah, but I will uh, jump over and show you guys the spider spawner here in just a minute. Alright, so we have ourselves over here at NIG 128-111-235, as you see at the top left there. This is just to the right of the big hole that goes everywhere inside this hill here. But we found this and made our way back and made just your basic spider spawner killing area. It's, it's nothing fancy, it does not work 100% every time, but we try, and at least it's something better than nothing at this point. Um, whenever they decide they want to drop. <laughs> I can hear the spiders. I just can't see them. Oh, there we go. We need to find a way to make them stay down here. Okay. Okay. And this one has a little skelly on it. <laughs> But yeah, this can be fun. Of course, you know, standing in one spot killing stuff for hours is not feasible. But we currently actually have plenty enough string and everything to get us started at least. That's just from the last couple of minutes. Uh, we did have a good stack or so before doing this um, video here so we got ourselves well and established um, inside the hole over there big old area it's pretty expansive um, pretty roomy very mobby um, so be sure to have your torches ready and yeah, but we'll go from there and try and get a few things built. And gonna have to go to bed here in a moment too. Before Creeper comes up behind me because that is my luck. So we'll see what we can manage to get done. Okay, so while grinding and mining down here for, well, I guess this is still at it, trying to do down each little five, three to four section, whatever. Um, we're at level 59, and I've gone, you can kind of see how far I went on the map. Not one diamond so far, so... This grind is going to be a little tough. We did find diamonds yesterday when we first started in the world, but really haven't found anything much since then. So, but I am full on other things, so I'm going to head back up now and get that all taken care of, and hopefully we can start getting those diamonds in so we can uh, get things done faster and easier. You guys know how it is.
Okay, so after a bunch of mining and grinding, we managed to get a little bit more diamonds. As you can see, I've got a helmet and boots so far. Um, still trying to get some more diamonds, a little bit more going. Uh, but we did get quite a bit of cobblestone. We did go to the nether where I grabbed some netherrack. We also got nether quartz and we also got um, some glowstone for the build and design. Uh, and we also went over to the jungle, got some bamboo, got some cocoa beans. Been trying to keep up on the gardening. I just love this design though. You see, the between the netherrack and everything being lined in gold, it's it's just beautiful. I love it. Um, but one thing that I really love is the portal that goes to the nether because it's blue. Um, now I don't know if the developers left the purple fragments in for the portal just because they couldn't figure out how to change it or if it was left in because they liked how that looked. Um, but I love it. And whenever I load up the world, this is what the page looks like, minus the purple. And that's absolutely my favorite, favorite color. Um, now, this portal right here is actually, it's in a good but bad place. Um, depending on how gas friendly you are. That is what the <laughs> magma blocks look, or magma cube guys look like right now. Pretty nifty. Um, but we came in here and did a little bit of work. As you can see, gas do not like me. But in creative mode, we're able to look around to try and find the nether fortress. And when we're all ready, we're going to be heading down here, going under a little ways, and even going under this platform over here. And the nether fortress is pretty much roughly that area uh, so when we get a bunch of us together we're gonna be heading through there I did manage just outside this right over there in that little opening where I did some mining I did manage to find some oh sorry some nice netherite ore well not the ore but you know the ancient debris. Uh, so I was able to get two of those just from that area. So hopefully we'll be able to get more. Hopefully that spawn with a new 1.18 will stay pretty decent uh, and friendly to us. But this is the temporary build shell of what I'm looking at building. Uh, this is only a fraction of it. We're looking at expanding possibly one row up we might do a tower on top we haven't completely come up with that yet here's Bampy she's looking through our stash right now borrowing stuff <laughs> and there's Augustus <laughs> she's looking at me clueless or either that or she's looking through her inventory it's okay uh, but inside here we discussed going off the left making our storage system but we're not going to do it above ground he's wanting to go below ground um, Augustus usually does a lot of that because when it comes to redstone I know about the basics and that's about as far as that goes um, I'm more of the creative mind behind things I say okay this is how I want it this is how I want it to look this is what we're going with and he does it <laughs> so as for this we're either gonna go down to the left or the right but it's gonna be somewhere in here where we'll be able to just walk up throw in our stuff go through the 
so we're looking at that. It just also depends. We're going to have some more grinding we have to do here in a bit. Uh, we'll be making a cow farm, which it's it's not an auto cow farm or anything specific. It's just going to be a manual cow farm, and it's probably about as simple as you can get. Uh, the cow farm will include just simple cobblestone, slabs, glass, chests, hoppers, buttons, dispenser, and water, and a water buckets, uh, and iron bars. So, no redstone, aside from, of course, the dispenser stuff, but it's really not it is redstone, but it, it, yeah, you get the gist. But I will be doing that here in another clip. I record my clips separately and piece them together in the end. Uh, we do have two four-year-old twins who, uh, they're boys and can be a big handful. So we're just kind of doing what we can, recording when we can. The seed that we're actually on, that I'll be putting in the comments, or down in the description at least, uh, it's actually one that we found by exploring all the new 1.18 uh, seeds and things like that. And this happened to be one of the more popular seeds that happened on a lot of the streamer sites about new seeds. And... We just hadn't really seen anyone use the seed or do anything with it. They had discussed possibly doing it, but we hadn't seen anyone do anything with it yet. So we decided to come in here with this texture pack because we absolutely love the texture pack. Um, now, Phoenix, he's got a building that's up over that way. Uh, I know he's at work right now, so we'll go up over that hill a little bit later. And Vampy, she's got herself a little village over here that she has taken over uh, and we'll go see her here in a little bit too along with working on that cow farm to get that going because we all need leather we all need meat <laughs> so we'll get that going and i'll get to recording the next clip here in a little bit okay so i've got the basic cow farm going on here um adding the water in now I did start to record and forgot a couple of things, so I had to back up a bit. Um, so yeah, and I placed that block in the wrong spot. But anyway, so the basic thing here is you got the hoppers down here with the chests, you know, everything feeding into each other. Then you have a level of water here. Uh, some iron bars there to hold the cows but yet keep the babies let the babies fall through so it'll keep the adults above while letting the little ones drop through let's see if I can place this from this angle or not I hope that worked. Okay, awesome. Uh, then you have the iron bars up here, which will keep the cows from coming out, jumping out when you turn on the water. Um, so we got there. You hit that. Well, okay. That might be a smart idea to go first. Sorry. So the water will fill up in here, makes the cows jump up and down, helps push the babies through, also helps bring them up so you can feed them so that they can make babies. But usually what I found with this one is you feed them first. I always go on crouch, walk around, feed them, and then I hit the button after they've already made their babies. It seems to work better that way for me. Um, I know I've watched some videos where people turn the water on first and feed them. I don't know if there's much of a difference. I am working with Bedrock Edition on PlayStation, so there might 
be a slight difference. I don't know, but this is just your basic cow farm. This is nothing spectacular, nothing special um, type thing. And we'll end up getting cows in here. Um, let's hope that I don't fall in. Got it. Okay, so I'll be getting cows up in here. But after you feed the cows, you know, they'll make babies. You wait for them to grow up, and bam. Everything will go into here. Then you can take it, cook it, use the leather, whatever you need to. But it's sort of just a way to... I mean, as you see, we, we get some cows on occasion up here, but not that many. So it will help us continue to get the leather that we need for books and for the item frames. Um, that's what we use when we do our storage system is the item frames. So that will help with all of that. Um, so yeah, just simple, basic cow farm. Okay, so up here north, the main crater area, it's kind of off the map. Of course, I still have to extend my map a little bit further. Um, there was a village, or is a village, I guess you could say. Just over here. Um... Similar things to the other location, a little bit more people, uh, it looks like all of them have seemingly trapped themselves in here, or they have been trapped in here. I have not figured that out quite yet, have to probably ask Vampy. Um, but this there she has decided to build her area. Now, I'm not gonna jump too hard, but... We were hoping this would have carrots in it up here, because you gotta admit, the potatoes kind of look like carrots, uh, on this design. However, no carrots. We still have yet to find carrots in this game. We're hoping to find a trader or something to help us get there. Um, and of course, you know, how Minecraft likes to spawn in villages. Off the side of the hill. So here we have uh, Vampy's house. She tends to do kind of maze-like houses. So this is only in the beginning stage. This is the basement area. And here's the main floor. She said that she's looking at doing a really neat design with this so I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty cool when it's all done got a little farm down there going got our own little band set up going and everything else so yeah we'll have to see come back up and check on her maybe on the next video or something and see how much progress she has made and go from there uh, if I can jump that would be great but yeah uh, I'm going to head back down now and climb up the hill and get to Phoenix. Uh, he's still at work, so I'll just sneak up there while he's gone and get that all figured. Okay, so I'm up here at Phoenix's build. Uh, he's got himself a little tree fort with his storage system up there. Got a nice little cute build going on here. Um, he's also got him a little farming set up. Bamboo farm. I'm trying to be careful because all the snow up here. Um, but yeah, he's he's got a little ladder that goes up to a platform up here where his bed and all that stuff is so far. Uh, I am going to avoid going up there until he's here just because I did go up there a minute ago and there was a creeper. So I would like to uh, make sure that he still had a place when he came back. Because uh, Phoenix is currently at work. So yeah, let's, we're not going to do that. 
but he did create his build that close just because it's kind of like vampy hers is just over the hill there his is right here that way we all are within a certain range of each other to help out and the portals right there right in the middle um, but yeah you can kind of see the build here I joked with Augustus yesterday that it kind of looks like a controller almost I mean right now it's upside down but we just have to extend out that way and that way that'd be kind of cool but I think we're gonna keep it how it is and go as a little bit more modern look now one thing I do not like about this pack it's it's one of my biggest pet peeves is the water most water you go in you can see a good distance but this right here will give you a little bit this is what going in water looks like you really can't see unless you're really close to something and it's, it's got to be really close then you can start to see things so I'm gonna take some damage here but we jumped down in the lake uh, in the creative mode even and could hardly anything so we've been trying to avoid jumping in there if we can right now uh, aside from that we like almost about this going on I did add glass on this cow farm just so I can kind of see watch monitor things I have not gotten any cows yet uh, since we started on the structure here it took up so much room that I haven't really seen any cows I've been seeing pigs sheep chickens but no cows I will be checking over that way here shortly I can find a couple uh, and get them lured back up here to get them in there I usually do four adults that way there's always two young there you wait for them to grow up or you can feed them and that way it kind of does a decent amount and then it, I, I think if you do I've, I've tried doing more than four and to me it just it gets pretty complicated um, for feeding and everything else but yeah I love the sunsets here that's beautiful but yeah, we'll go from here and uh, keep pushing forward and see what we can't accomplish. Okay, so it's been a few days. <laughs> a lot has changed. Um, I have not been able to meet up with Phoenix quite yet to get over there to do a recording at his place yet. Um, last time I was over there, there was a creeper. And so I just kind of stayed back. Um, but he, his work schedule and my schedule just has not worked out for me to meet up with him quite yet. So we'll get... We'll get over there here in the next couple days hopefully and uh, 
let you guys kind of take a peek inside what he's working with over there. Um, these right here, we're starting up. They're going to be sheep farms, which should be fun. Uh, it's going to be automatic wool so that we can start getting beds and everything made so we can go start farming some netherite. Uh, I do have a standard piston sea kelp farm, which, you know, he's clicked the thing here and it goes through the hoppers there and yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Nothing special, spectacular about it. That's why I said I do, I do basic stuff. Um, for those of us who still don't quite understand all the redstone stuff, that's just that's my, the way I do it. Um, but here is so far what we've got with the house. Uh, we're we're kind of doing like a mansion castle mix. It, it is not done yet. Um, the full complete shell isn't even done yet. This is kind of in the way there, but that's kind of what we're working with here. You can see one of those. We're going to put another one of those towers over there. We're also planning on expanding up the back side of the mountain there behind the building. I'll take you guys in really quick. Okay, this is the upstairs really nothing spectacular on this side quite yet because I haven't done anything. I'm still working on designs. We have a couple little small patio balconies. Yeah, balconies. That's the word. Uh, we have a couple little balconies. A big grand balcony. A couple small rooms that I've put together up here. We haven't really done much with quite yet. Uh, this will be where the stairs up to the tower goes. And then we got stairs that go down here. We I have not done anything here quite yet, but this kind of gives a general idea of where we're planning on building up the back side of the mountain there, or the front side for us, I guess you could say, back side of the house. Um, just your standard furnaces and <coughs> smokers and everything going on. This is where we're lo looking at doing our storage. Uh, I think we talked about like an old-fashioned library vibe. Uh, still in the works, as you can tell. Haven't really done much decorating or anything. Trying to get everything else taken care of upstairs. Still gotta farm some uh, sand, which... There's not too many places. I know that in the creative mode we checked it out. And we're gonna have to go probably all the way to... We're gonna get to have to go north or south on the map. I don't remember how far north, but I know that the south side is at the bottom of the map. It's it's a good distance. Uh, we did add a standard water elevator here to help us get down to the waterfront a little bit easier. Just because, you know, it, it's so much easier than running and climbing or trying to wait for the water that way. The simple water elevators really help out. So we've got that going on here. Um, he does have an auto fish farm right over there. So we can get equipment and fishing rods and books and things for right now because we are running a bit shy on diamonds. Uh, we do have, finally, pickaxes with fortune, efficiency, and mending on them, which that was a lot of fishing and work to do that. Um, we already had our diamond pickaxes, and I accidentally used one too many diamonds to do a repair on mine um, prior. And so now we're waiting on one more in order to get an enchanting table. But we did manage to get some books, so I was able to get my infinity bow. I do. I Yes, I'm an infinity bow person because I, I don't like running out of arrows in the middle of fighting mobs and stuff. So it makes it easier on me. Um, as you see here, this is what the cow farm... That's 
basically what happens. You sit there, you kill them, they, if their stuff goes down in there, and you could pretty much do this every day. And if you're going, getting a slow start, not trying to rush everything, then this is kind of a nice way to go about getting your leather for your books and leather for your signs. I like to just kind of go around and try to lure the littles here too. Sometimes the water doesn't push them. I don't know if it's just a glitch or what the deal is. But sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Okay, I'll have to try the water again. Let's see if I can't get that little one down there. Because if you get too many up in the top, it tends to glitch things out pretty bad inside of there. Makes it pretty hard to adjust things and get them all fed. And then you end up accidentally killing too many. See, there we up to... We've had it going for a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's that for the most part. Um, we haven't done too much else outside of this stuff. Um, we are getting, we've got a small little mini map area started. We do have some cauldrons here with our sources. This one apparently isn't being fed into quite yet. Um, but that helps us so we're not running all over the place getting sources for lava and water. Um, and over there, I'll probably do that next video. Uh, Augustus has uh, put together, he kind of messed with a few different designs for an auto farm. Because uh, I normally do an auto farm type thing for myself, but it doesn't involve villagers. Uh, this time he did, which we've seen a few other people do it prior. And he decided he wanted to try it out, see if he could not make something work. Um, because I usually, I'm the one that usually gets stuck always farming, making sure that we have extra food. That way nobody's running out, uh, everything else like that. And, so they, he, him and everyone else usually gets to do a lot more exploring, a lot more fun things and adventurous things. And once we get things going up this time, that will be off of my task of things to do. And that'll be nice. Um, so yeah, but this is what we're working with so far. I am going to try and end this video here in just a minute and try to get it edited, cropped put on the YouTube and everything. Uh, over the next week, I will probably try and do a small video of another world that we are currently in. Uh, just to kind of show you guys kind of concepts, ideas that we tend to work with and everything else for that matter. Uh, outside of the seat, of course. And then I might do an exploratory map recording um, where I just go and unlock the map and every new thing I come along I'll show you guys where things are on the maps um, including you know like the nether fortress uh, well that's not on the map but that'll be one of the things that will probably show you guys too uh, also show you guys where the end area is and stuff like that so we, we try, um, I'll do my best and see what recordings I can't done get done in the next week uh, again I do have kids so sometimes it's a day or two before I can get to recording again just because noise tantrums you name it um, so yeah but hopefully you guys enjoyed this so far 
Uh, this is my first time recording, so try to remember that if you decide to make any comments. But anyway, so thank you for watching. Have a good day.